to 2018. Well, actually minutes now. New Year's Eve is often a time of self reflection an assessment of how far we've come and what we hope to achieve in the year ahead. New year, new me. But one thing we hope doesn't change in 2018, Lane Kiffin. Since taking over the Florida Atlantic football team just over a year ago, he's revolutionized not only the program, but everything a college football coach should be on social media. His platform of choice, Twitter. Here are Lane Kiffin's greatest hits from 2017. Since Lane Kiffin's arrival on the sideline at Florida Atlantic, the Owls have become one of the must-see teams in college football. All while Kiffin has become a must-follow on social media. His strategy, well, there really isn't one. People ask me that, like, there's some, like, you know, like we have meetings to discuss what I'm going to do. That's really just, like, two seconds thought. It began back in May when Kiffin began sending out cryptic tweets showing off his philosophical side, pondering if a tomato is a fruit, does that mean ketchup is a smoothie? And is sand called sand because it is between the sea and the land? Something to think about. From there, Kiffin took things up a notch. The come to the FAU hashtag was born and it worked. Everyone from former New York Yankees manager Joe Girardi and future NFL Hall of Famer Calvin Johnson paying a visit to Boca Raton. Shortly thereafter, Kiffin either trolling or paying homage to his former boss, Alabama head coach Nick Saban. You know, all that stuff you write about how good we are and all that stuff they hear on ESPN, it's like poison. You know what I mean? It's like taking poison, like rat poison. Kiffin embraced the rat poison. I was just worried about, you know, listening to, you know, all, all your guys' rat poison. And made it his own. That's why we want you guys to pick against us so you guys can give us a miracle, bro. So much so that in late October, Kiffin ruffled some feathers, targeting both betters and Saban. Instructed by Lane Kiffin to run through the end zone for a safety. Up seven in a showdown with Marshall, a game that featured a six-point spread, Kiffin opted for the late safety, leading to a five-point win for the Owls. Kiffin joked that he didn't want to cover the spread because of too much rat poison, a comment that an FAU representative said was made in jest. Just days later, in a tweet that was later deleted, Kiffin threw up the ultimate Hail Mary, retweeting a picture of former Boynton Beach star and Heisman Trophy winner Lamar Jackson, telling the Louisville quarterback to, quote, come home for her. I saw Lamar and I knew he was from here, so... Thought maybe he was homesick and he'd want to come home. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't stop there. When Kiffin's former employer, the University of Tennessee, was in the midst of a head coaching search, Kiffin decided to play the role of search committee. What would have qualified Kim Jong un for the job at UT? Basically, people, friends, uh, you know, some RGAs. They come up with ideas, they send them to me, and then I just retweet them. So uh. I didn't know who the guy was. So whether it's 140 characters or 280, there's only one Lane Kiffin, and he is quite the character.